everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day today. Be nice if it rained, but if not, still a gorgeous day. So I went to Texas for a little while for a little vacation, see the family and friends and everything. And I'm going to say it was one of my best visits ever um, since I've been here. Um, my son came here uh, to visit for about a week. Um, just to check things out, make sure I'm okay, I guess. And uh, I think that helped him to understand why I'm here um, and how, how much I love it here because we have a really good, really good circle of friends, um, basically extended family here that's just hard to find sometimes in the States because everybody's super busy. But anyhow, best trip ever to the States. Loved, loved, loved seeing the family, the grandson, and what's not to love. I mean, grandson. So I went with absolutely no agenda. Um, my only goal was just to, to spend time with family. And so I think that maybe really helped. Um, I didn't have to go shopping or gather things or anything like that. Just spent time with family. And so that was all super, super wonderful. Although while I was there, the, uh, <laughs> I uh, found Yellowstone. So here on Netflix, you only have to like season three. So I got to finish up Yellowstone, but I had to bide my time and um, let it. So I didn't binge watch the whole thing in the first day. So I spread it out. I knew how many days I was going to be there and how many episodes I could watch per day. So that was all absolutely wonderful. But shortly after I got there, um, I will have to say I had a Texas welcome, but they told me the weather was great before I got there and the heat had moved in, you know, for my arrival, which I was really trying to avoid. But then we had the tornado. So Texas tornadoes, you know, came in a little closer to the neighborhood than anybody had wanted. Um, the neighborhood itself uh, was not hit too, too terribly bad, although the beautiful, beautiful big trees um, pretty much snapped in half. A uh, few people lost shingles off of their uh, their houses and some of the fences were down, but also um, the trampoline in the backyard had jumped the fence and gone to the neighbor's house. So uh, overall, not too terribly bad, but in town, down Main Street, there was a, uh, the, the, you could clearly see the tornado path and there were a lot of um, businesses in there that um, saw quite a bit of damage. Some of the buildings probably could not be repaired, would have to be torn down. Some of them, you know, worse than others, but it, it just is what it is with a tornado. Um, I have to say, in Ecuador, I don't miss that kind of extreme weather. Um, it's much calmer here. We have rain, and after I got back, we had a really good rain, which was awesome because we're in the dry season, basically. It really helped refill the water tanks and so that, you know, we can keep everything going through through the dry season. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't miss the tornadoes and the hurricanes or anything else. So that was, you know, is what it is. But after the storm was over, then we, um, the kids took me down to a park area that's along the river. So um, you could still see, you know, couple days later, well, I guess it was almost a week later, you could still see the damage from the tornado. So huge, huge trees had had fallen and um, done damage from the fall. But also the river was still up pretty high, but the ducks, we went down for the ducks and the birds and stuff like that because I like taking pictures of them. And so um, my grandson took uh, bread crumbs, some little bread pieces so he could feed the birds and the birds were super happy. They like, ah, what tornado, you know, they just, 
move on with life, happy to to be out and about and um, didn't get out into the raging river part too much, but they swam along the edge a little bit and pretty much stayed up on shore. So it was really nice um, being able to capture some of that uh, tranquility in the midst of chaos, I guess. Um, and then also we had like um, a take mom to work day. So it was kind of neat. Um, my son is in the military, so he's in the army. And so he took me to um, previously called Fort Hood, but now it's called Fort Cavazos. The museum, which looks like it is going to be absolutely gorgeous, was not open yet. <laughs> it was supposed to open this month. So later, later this month, if they stay on track. I think it's going to be gorgeous once they put it all inside and you won't be able, you won't have to go on base to be able to go in and see the museum, which will be kind of nice. For me, it was like going back to the, like the set of MASH, the, the TV series, there was all these old vehicles. Um, not all of them were U.S. military, so some of them looked like they had the Japanese symbol on them. Um, but it was really neat. I think my favorite part in all of that was that uh, they had a lot of the doors open. So like the tanks that carried the, the infantry men, how small that space was for those guys to sit up in there. Um, pretty, pretty incredible. And it's all metal, so there's no cush. That's, it's not a comfortable space. You see stuff like that in the movies, but you never... Um, you know, it's such a small space, I'm sure they can't get really good images of how tight that space is. So to me, that was really interesting to watch that. But, you know, the actual museum was closed, but they still had most of their outdoor collection um, to look at. And it was, it was really cool. They had um, tanks and they had different um, armory type things and uh, helicopters and airplanes and just all kinds of things where you could go up close and personal. It looked like they were auctioning some of the stuff off, which was interesting. So I guess they have more than enough. They're already starting to move stuff into the indoor part of the museum. So that was um, just, it was, it was good. So if you ever get to the Fort Hood, Fort Cavazos uh, Museum, if you have that opportunity, um, hopefully, once they move it indoor, they'll they'll still have everything like they did on the outdoor section. Um, but anyhow, uh, it's worth worth going to see. Um, getting up at close and personal, even the helicopters, the doors on some of them were open. And then uh, my son actually flies helicopters in the uh, in the army, so I got to go see, and he walked me through all the different, you know, all the helicopters that he flies when he flies. And uh, that was really, really interesting. Um, all the ins and outs of what they had to offer and um, just the cool things the different chapters could do. The rest of my visit there was, again, these, these outings were, were secondary to the goal. My only goal was to soak up the family. But um, when everybody was running around or otherwise occupied or asleep still or what have you, I would sneak out into the backyard and just enjoy the, um, the wildlife they have in their backyard. Um, pretty incredible. So I took a lot of pictures while I was there. It's taken me a long time to get through all the pictures and um, put them together just to be able to put this video together. So. I really hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the peace, the tranquility, along with the chaos that came with the tornadoes. So, I know it's been a while, but ciao for now. We'll see you next time. Thank you.